Hi, in this video, I want to show you how you can connect your Kettler treadmill, the smart one, the Track S series, into a Bluetooth devices, Bluetooth sensor, and into Zwift application running apps. Okay, the first, let's start with the Bluetooth sensor. Okay, I want to connect my heart rate monitor into this uh, Kettler treadmill. And then first, you just have to push the Bluetooth button. And then it will enter the Bluetooth setup menu. And it will automatically read any sensor that waiting to pair with your catalog treadmill. Just uh, push the start button to start connected. And then voila, it's connected. Just press this one, start. After you connected your heart rate uh, monitor, let's check if uh, they can read out my heart rate pulse or not. Let's start with the workout. Please wait. Okay. How to start this thing? Uh, this is a new treadmill for me. First day. Okay. Here you are. As you can see, there's a reading of my heart rate pulse. So it's work flawlessly with this uh not only you can monitor your heart rate but uh you can start training with a heart rate zone now i want to show you how to connect this uh, kettler treadmill into a zwift application this is a virtual running apps and virtual biking app first you just have to make sure that uh, you are enter the app menu and then start to start uh, the pairing process and then uh, in the Zwift application you can click a uh, search for the treadmill and after that you can see that uh, your treadmill will uh, show you the pin that you should uh, enter for the pairing mode and then uh, just make sure you click the pairing mode in your laptop or in your iPad yeah, because you have to uh, enter the pin code for pairing okay it's easy actually but uh, there's a lack of uh, instruction uh, how to connect it just uh, key in the pin click allow I'm using a uh, Windows devices Windows 10 and as you can see access connection already succeeded is close and then go back to the swift application okay press okay just wait it's a uh, takes a little bit longer than expected and you can see uh, treadmill already connected and cadence already connected yeah but uh, in reality I don't think uh, the cadence is working because uh, the treadmill is not uh, reading the cadence sensor the step that you made when you're running here you are let's try let's try is it working or no okay i will start uh, to spin the treadmill okay yeah it's working my avatar is start moving okay i tried this treadmill with a uh, four kilometer per hour uh, as you can see the reading of the speed uh, working flawlessly with the zwift apps yes as you can see no cadence and gradient reading for now showing zero